Uh, my name is Rogate Mshana and I've been an economist working with the churches for many years. We met here in Kingston. There was a good analysis of how this international financial architecture is actually impacting negatively, especially in the area of inequality, poverty, and ecological destruction. The economic and international financial architecture is not an architecture which actually saves life. And therefore, the churches are urged after this to think and emerging another type of system, what in short we call NIFIA, New International Financial and Economic Architecture. We call this economy of life by advising the policymakers around the world, at both at the global level, at the local level, at the various levels, and on the other side to enable churches to have practice different way of designing economies in their local areas. We, we had several people from Jamaica, from Guyana and one from Suriname, Wales, uh, Scotland, and also with the exposure program where we went to see various ways in which people of Jamaica were experiencing uh, these problems. culminated into discussions which then led into a, a declaration from Kingston about how we go and how we are going to plan for the next colloquia which is going to take place in London. And if you see the statement, it affirms the Sao Paulo statement with all its proposals and they also see this era where the Brexit and the rise of Trump is actually rolling back the issues of climate change, the issues of, uh, of enabling uh, vulnerable communities to, to be helped. This has, has been informing the members here who want to go beyond charity to more the area of structural change and justice. Uh, it's not an easy thing, but the churches are ready to do that. And that is what, for me, gives me uh, more inspiration because it is based on the gospel, gospel of Christ. I came so that they may have life and have this in its fullness. So I'm very happy about this. <laughs>